Welcome dear friends. Today we are going to learn about the theories of filtration. The flow of liquid through a filter follows the basic rules that govern the flow of any liquid through the medium offering resistance. The rate of flow it may be expressed as rate is equal to driving force upon the resistance. The rate of filtration it might be it may be expressed as volume per unit time. The driving force can be written as or it is a subtraction product of pressure upstream minus pressure downstream. The resistance is not constant throughout the process of filtration. As the process of filtration continues, the resistance goes on, goes on increasing. So we can say it increases with an increase in the deposition of the solids on the filter medium. Therefore, filtration is not at all at a steady state. The rate of flow will be greatest at the beginning of, of the filtration process since the resistance is minimum at this point. After forming of filter cake, that is deposition of the solids on the filter, its surface act as filter medium itself and the solids, they continuously go on depositing adding to the thickness of the cake. The powder or granule bed visualized, it can be visualized as a bundle of capillaries. Now, if suppose this is our uh, filter cake, which is formed on the filtration medium. So now this is a um, horizontal view of the same. So the, from this point, we will be inserting the fluid on this filter media and then it moves into the collecting vessel from here. So this is the um, uh, surface area of the filter cake and this is the upstream pressure, the pressure with which the uh, liquid will be flowing onto the uh, filtration media and this will be the downstream pressure. So P1 is upstream pressure and P2 is downstream pressure. So the resistance to movement okay, is pressure upstream minus pressure downstream divided by the length of this capillaries okay so we can say the driving force for filtration is p1 minus p2 hmm? and resistance is given by given as p1 minus p2 divided by the length of this capillaries the first theory proposed was by poiseuille's and hence the equation given is called as poiseuille's equation so Poiseuille considered that filtration is similar to the streamlined flow of liquid under pressure through the capillaries. So Poiseuille has given an equation where V is the rate of flow, delta P is the pressure difference across the filter, R is the radius, L is the thickness, eta is the viscosity. If the cake is composed of bulky mass of particles and the liquid flows through the interstice, then flow of liquid through these may be expressed by this equation. The next equation is given by Darcy's equation. So Poiseuille's law assumed that the capillaries found in the filter, they are highly irregular and non-uniform. Therefore, if the length of the capillary is taken as the thickness of the bed, a correction factor for radius is applied so that the rate is closely approximated and simplified. The factors influencing the rate of filtration has been incorporated into an equation by Darcy, which is as V is equal to K into A into delta P divided by viscosity and length. So K is the permeability coefficient, then A is the surface area of the porous bed and other terms are previous. K depends on the characteristics of the cake, such as porosity, specific surface area, and compressibility. Permeability may be defined as defined quantitatively as the flow rate of a liquid of unit viscosity across unit area of cake, having unit thickness under a pressure gradient of unity. This equation is valid for liquids flowing through sand, glass plates, and various porous media. This model is applied to filter beds or cakes and other types of filter depth. This equation is further modified by including characteristics of K by Kozeny Kerman. The last theory is proposed by Kozeny Kerman. 
Kozenigarman equation is widely used for filtration and the equation is this. Where epsilon is the porosity of the cake, S is the specific surface area of the particles, K is the, K is the Kozeny constant, usually it is taken as phi and other terms we have already seen in the previous equations. The limitations of this process, uh, this equation is that it does not consider the fact that depth of granular bed is lesser than the actual path traversed by the fluid. The actual path is not same throughout the bed, but it is sinensis or tortoise. So this was all about the theories of filtration. Thank you for watching.